Hello everyone. Hello my lovely people. And my name is Kate. I am a hypnotherapist. I help people resolve their unresolved issues um, when nothing works for them. <laughs> because hypnotherapy is usually um, an industry, right? A type of therapy, right? That people go as a last resort when there is, they tried everything and then, okay, let's try hypnosis. <laughs> well, I think it should become first <laughs> because it's so, it's so much faster, right? And it's so much deeper and it can help you live a life that you probably cannot live for years and years. Anyway, um, today the topic is fear of responsibility. Everyone knows that sometimes it's so hard to make the decision, right? Um, indecisiveness is there, you know, you are torn between this different options, you know. Um, sometimes the decision has to be made really quickly, you know, and you are just, you know, you check out. You just avoid it all together, right? Um, and sometimes it's just that you don't want to do that, but in many cases it is the fear of responsibility, right? Um, fear as a responsibility can be a reason for laziness, not an excuse, of course, for laziness, but if you feel like you're procrastinating or you feel like you're lazy, right, and you don't want to do something that you don't understand it's good for you, um, fear of, of responsibility can be the reason, right? So, and it affects uh, almost every area of your life. Let's take personal life, right? In personal life, it affects your marriage. It affects your kids, right? It affects, um, you know, how you build relationship, right? How you negotiate uh, in your relationship, how you compromise, how you resolve the conflicts. In your professional life, it can be how you, you know, are you promoted, you know, or uh, do you have a pay raise, you know, that you really, really wanted, but are you actually working for that? So also taking on a new career, right, can also be the, you know, can, can have the fear of responsibility so you cannot do that or you, you're not able to do that because of that fear. In your health, you know, personal life and in your lifestyle, right, you cannot start um, losing weight, right, going and leading the healthy life, taking on, eating healthy, right, a lot of times it's the fear of responsibility because once you start to do that the whole responsibility is on your on you right you cannot just um, excuse um, genetics you know stress bad boss um, you know problems in life right you take responsibility right you take actions and the symptoms can be really interesting right so usually the symptoms is um, in your personal life you can avoid relationship altogether or if you started the relationship, you're ending them by yourself, even before it gets too serious. Because when it gets too serious, then you're like, oh, that's a, that's a big responsibility. So you just, you know, go away from that. And it can be really frustrating because deep inside you do want the love in the relationship. You do want to not be alone, right, or single. Uh, in your professional life, you can start to delegate projects, which is good. But if that project is your responsibility by contract, right, you can, you can, you know, get in trouble <laughs> because of that. And, but you still to like, you know, you, you give every project that you can do by yourself to your employees or to people around you, to your coworkers, just not to do that. Because you feel like, oh, if I become responsible for that project and something doesn't go right, you know, I don't want punishment or criticism, you know, or I don't want to fail. Some people are staying single altogether because they don't want the responsibility of, um, you know, marriage and, and building a family. Some people can be child free. They are uh, because of the fear of responsibility, not because of their inner desire, but because they are afraid of responsibility. So that's also can happen. Uh, procrastination, a huge symptom of the fear of responsibility because you are just, you know, finding everything else to do, but not the important things, right? And that's called procrastination, when you distract yourself. Even me, you know, in this video, I was just looking at my phone and I was like, this is procrastinating, just go and shoot the video, <laughs> you know? So that's, that's fear of responsibility, right? 
uh, making excuses all the time. Huge symptom of the fear of responsibility. If you see a person who is making excuses all the time, like, that's not my fault, that was him, you know, I didn't have time, uh, it was too much stress, um, it's too much to do, you know, I, I prioritize different, like, all of the excuses that you can hear is the fear of taking responsibility for their action. And that's, and you know what, people can just blame other people for that. Oh, you just don't want to take responsibility. But that's not true. You shouldn't be doing that because fear of responsibility is coming from a deep, deep childhood. It doesn't come from the age of 20. No, no, no. You start to build that strategy that you don't want responsibility very early in life. Can be five, can be seven, can be eight, can be nine. You know, and why you start to build that strategy, we are going to talk now. So the first cause of this fear is a fear of punishment. If you were punished for your actions, whether good or bad, back in childhood, of course you will have a fear of responsibility because you took responsibility when you were a child and you were punished for that. So. Of course, your mind will come up with this strategy that, oh, I might not even try again. Like, I don't want that anymore. Um, and sometimes when you had siblings and you had to look after them, you know, and you were punished because you didn't take a good care of them, that can also cause fear of responsibility. Huge, you know, and I, I've seen them, right? I've seen these cases a lot of time. And when I work in hypnosis with clients, they go back to those scenes when they were punished, criticized, you know? So fear of criticism is another reason why you have fear of responsibility, why you cannot take actions and take responsibility for what you do is because of the fear of criticism. Because if your parents, figure parents, caregivers, um, kids in school were criticized, teachers, right? People who that you looked up to were criticizing you a lot, that can cause the, um, the anxiety. My dog is still chewing a bone, but <laughs> sorry for the noise. Uh, Past mistakes. When you made mistakes, and it's, it's the part of life, right? When you made mistakes, uh, you, can, um, you, can, you, can know, you can be very sensitive to pain that those mistakes bring. And you were like, well, I don't want to make the, the mistake anymore, so I will not initiate any action. I will not be initiative because I've done so many mistakes that I, I just don't want to do that anymore. Also, uh, low confidence and low self-esteem can be the reason why you cannot take responsibility. Because taking responsibility for your action is being confident that I'm a human. I can make mistakes, you know, so that's, that's possible, right? Uh, meeting the social standards, right? Some perfectionists, A achievers, you know, they want to meet the standards. So sometimes they even avoid taking responsibility because they are not sure if it can be done perfectly well right? Um, victims, people who are victimizing a lot, right? These people mostly will have the fear of responsibility because they know that if they start to take responsibility, there is no one to put that responsibility on anymore. <laughs> they will, um, you know, genetics, like regarding health, for example, right? You were like, if you start to lose weight because you started to exercise and, and eat healthy, right? Um, then you are taking responsibility for your health, right? For your body, you know, for your self-esteem, confidence, motivation, right? So you cannot say that, oh, my mom was overweight, then, you know, I'm overweight as well. You cannot say that anymore because you started to lose weight. So you are a great example that it's not the genetics, right? Um, if you started to pursue a new career, right? Like you can uh, start like, oh, there is, it's a bad company with bad culture. I didn't want to take that job, you know? Like, I don't want that. I don't want to work for that company. I don't want to work for that industry because that's, that's too hard. That's too physically exhausting. There, there, that is so much, too much stress. So you'll find excuses, right? You're victimized. And I'm like, you know, I, I can't do that. I cannot do that. So... Um, don't blame yourself for these strategies you have formed as a child when you did not have a choice. You did not have a voice, you know, and the only thing that you figured out is to form this belief that I don't want that anymore. I don't want that pain anymore. And every time there is a possibility to take responsibility for your action when you are an adult, 
is brings you back into that same childhood memory and event that caused you pain. For real, really, because um, your subconscious mind doesn't know time. It remembers everything like it's happening today. This is why you have anxiety, panic, because it brings you back to those first moments, you know. Uh, this is why you have fears and phobias, because it brings you back to those same first moments when you were afraid, out of control, you know, helpless, hopeless, you know. Uh, so the only reason, the only way to, a uh, couple of ways, two ways I would say, to understand if you have that fear of, and how to overcome it is to start uh, exposing yourself to little small things, you know, little steps, little responsibilities, right? You can start closing the door to your house if you didn't do that before, right? So taking responsibility for small things, gradually increasing it, or you can, uh, you can find the reason, face the past as well, and look at, at those memories that caused you to be afraid of responsibility. You know, call, like, look at that, because the more you shut it down, the more it's going to scream to you. you know, the more your body, your psyche is going to tell you, please help me resolve the problem. Face the past, you know, change the meaning around the past, and then you won't be needing to do that anymore, you know? And it's not like you're going to forget, no, but you're going to change the meaning. You're going to look at it differently. So, I wish you all to uh, take responsibility for your mental health, right? And if you need my help, I can help you guide to, the, to this you know, deepest, um, deepest um, library of your mind. And you can, you can look at your past and change the meaning you know, with the help of hypnosis. I do RTT hypnotherapy. And you will love the experience. My contacts are in the description. If you want to book a chat, we can chat and see how I can help you with your issue. And also I do online and in-person sessions here in Calgary, Alberta. Wish you all the best. Bye.